early on in the beginning of the company, we the cleanup of the um, the flood of Richmond in in seventy two. The flood occurred, and they were looking for people for cleanup. The flood was coming down river, and it was bringing trees and wood and animals, wildlife, snakes, and cows. And we had to go in with a front end loader and move that debris away. And um, it was not a very pleasant job. There was no electricity then because all the power was knocked out. And we were inside there with artificial lights in this basement with low ceilings. That was unfortunate for Richmond. It helped us get work, but, you know, it was not a pretty sight, and it was not something that uh, you can look back and see progression. It was a lot of destruction, and we tried to work through that. It was a recession, and we were really needing work. And we uh, got the job, and we had a joint venture with a company called Wrecking Corps of America. It was interesting, and as we did that job, we tore the building down that existed. But once we got to cut through the foundations, we ran into another section of the prison that was previously built in colonial times. Back in them days, there, there was no Walmart and short pump. There was no. So you went to Richmond, to Sears, and Tallheimers, and Millen Roads, and those places to shop as a kid. And you went by the prison a lot. And to be a part of tearing it down or see it torn down right firsthand inside the gate, it, it was an eye opener. And, and it, I think it set the stage for us to get more work. As far as the construction of the Arthur Ashe Memorial, we donated the site work. I have a picture of Joe the Third and his partner, a gentleman named Kelby Morgan. They were out there with rakes and shovels and doing this, that, and the other around the circumference of the Arthur Ashe Memorial. So we did that out of our pocket, and I thought it was a civic thing to do. And that led to the slave burial grounds. They weren't properly buried. It was basically where you drop is where we put the dirt on you. And I think I got together with Joe, and I said, Joe, can we create a graveyard where these people can be properly laid to rest with the dignity and the honor they deserve? And he said, yeah, let's do that. Those folks are properly laid to rest now. And that, I think, is important not only to me as a human being, not only to Joe and his son as a human being, but to this city of Richmond, which we call home. Richmond was an industrial town, and it was full of um, factories, tobacco factories, and other manufacturing that was being done in Richmond. So Richmond was changing, and the Gottwald family has really done a lot to clean up and to beautify the Richmond area. And it was fun for us to be a part of that because we were in, in the middle of the downtown um, performing some demolition, grading, and that we looked at it as prestigious jobs and we wanted to be a part of that. We've had relationships that we have developed and we know a lot of people. So we have, have had opportunity to do some very um, different jobs, different work because of the needs of these people that we know.